Welcome to the studio. I thought I'd do a new video, an introduction to pass laws. There's lots of misconceptions with pass laws. Hopefully this video will clear those things up. So let's start off with what can you actually do with pass laws. Now lots of people think pass laws and then they think of very loose impressionistic large drawings, paintings and um, lots of dust as well. But you can create loads and loads of different subjects. So let me just go through a few that I've done for my lessons on Patreon. That'll give you an idea of the way I use pastels myself. Now pastels don't need to be complicated. You can do simple things like this penguin or florals. It's great for that. And also you can use them as for landscapes. You can do some really lovely detailed landscapes and things don't need to be big. You can do small subjects as well like this little tiny gorilla drawing. You can also go much larger, much more detailed and realistic, like this baby elephant drawing. And of course, pastels are known for their color and vibrancy, so you can let your imagination really run wild and boost up the colors as well. So as you can see, pastels lend themselves to many, many different subjects, and the only real limiting fact is your imagination. You can go detailed, textured, smooth, large, small, you name it, you can pretty much do it with pastels, and that's why I fell in love with those a few years ago myself. Now let's take a look at supplies, because this is where people really get confused, and you certainly don't need to be, it can be extremely simple. Now of course you need something to draw upon, so let's look at that first, and I use pastel matte paper. I don't use any other type of paper, simply because pastel matte for me just works perfectly. It holds all the layers that I require to get my detailed layering effect. It's super um, kind to your fingers. It's a smoothish surface so you can blend with your fingers and it doesn't hurt them at all. I can get sharp details as, you, as you've seen on the um, drawings that I've already shown. So it, it just works perfectly. And on my YouTube channel you can see I've tried out lots and lots and lots of different types of papers none of them work like pastel matte. So this is simple. The paper I suggest is pastel matte. So I would just get some sheets of that. You can buy individual sheets if you just want to try things out or you can buy small pads, larger pads. And it also then has the benefit of being able to, um, you can purchase really large sheets of the pastel matte paper and pastel matte board. Now to keep things really simple, after you've got a sheet of paper there's only one other thing you really need to be able to create a pastel drawing and that's pastel pencils. So I've got two brands that I really like, Faber-Castell Pitt and Carbofello. They are a harder pencil so they're easier to sharpen and you can get more details with those. So just paper and some pencils, that's all you really need to, to purchase. And artists are usually uh, quite surprised that you don't need to buy anything more but as you can see with this tiger demonstration this is all done with pastel pencils including the background the only real reason that you need or it's a good idea to get pastel sticks or pan pastels which I'll talk about in a moment is for the under layer and possibly a background just because they help to save your pencils you don't end up sharpening and, and wearing your pencils out so quickly. If you imagine the pencils have only got a small amount of pastel actually uh, in them when you compare them to pastel sticks or pan pastels so these don't go as far and that's really the main reason that you would possibly need those as well but you can very well do virtually everything with just pastel pencils. Now, what about extra supplies? What if you do want to purchase things and what are they required for? So let's take a look at that. Now, I suppose we could clasp more paper as extra supplies, different colors. As I said, Passmark comes in lots of different colors. A general color that I usually use is the light blue, which is really more of a, a gray, um, the dark gray and the brown. They are my favorite colors. Okay, and I generally pick the colors, as you can see on my other YouTube videos, by um, what's most suitable for the particular subject that I'm doing. So you may want to get a couple of extra sheets of different colors. 
and the pastel product that's been very popular for the last few years is pan pastels if you don't know that's basically a pastel pigment that's compressed into these circular pans and you use the tools that you can see on the left which got micropore sponges on the tip and you just dip those rub them gently on the pans and then you can mix your colors on a piece of paper I just use printer paper myself just like you would a paint and then you can apply that to the pastel matte surface this is great for underlayers I use it a lot to do underlayers as I said you could do just pencils but this really really saves you going through your expensive pencils and they're also superb for backgrounds now with backgrounds it's the same principle you can see me I just mix on my printer paper it's just standard cheap printer paper and then I can check the colors on a little bit of scrap pastel mat and as I said you can just mix them very very similar to how you would imagine or how you do with oils and acrylic so if you're used to painting with wet medium like that um, you really feel at home with pan pastels and you can see the advantage by having those larger tools how you can use circular strokes and create these lovely soft misty looking backgrounds that disappear backwards into your drawings and artwork which then obviously makes the subject look like it's coming forward um, on the paper so as I said pastel, pan pastels not required not something you need to buy straight away once you start working larger that's probably something to invest in or uh, pastel sticks okay so let's now take a look at pastel sticks pastel sticks as you can see they look extremely different again so these are just a formed pastel that's uh, mixed with another uh, medium that holds it together now you can get them extremely soft brands that are very very soft you only touch them on the paper surface and they the artists say they go on and glide like butter the, the pastel just breaks down and actually goes on the pastel surface and um, it's easy to put too much down with very soft pastels and that's why my preferred brand is Rembrandt or something you know so these are harder types of pastels so not all uh, pastel sticks are created equally they're not all hard or all super soft you get lots of different variations between the brands personally I prefer the harder brands because I can control them better I can still get nice smooth backgrounds and, and delays but they're not as um, easy to fill the two for the paper okay so this is my preferred brand now you may be thinking well why would you even want those well pastel sticks are extremely opaque so if you want a background that's say uh, just blue and you want a lovely solid color then the best thing of all is pastel sticks obviously they go a lot further than your pencils and especially if you're using one color you could go through quite a few pencils if you're doing a background that's just one color and pan pastels are not completely opaque which has its advantages and I describe a lot of that in my demonstrations but if you want a completely flat color or something that blends perfectly and covers the uh, paper pastel sticks with their opacity are definitely the uh, thing to get now at the very start of this video I said it was an introduction to pastels so let's recap on it because I want to keep this uncomplicated okay lots of people complicate it too much what do you really need to start with pastels it's simple paper I recommend pastel mat okay you may say then what color depends on the subject but um, light blue dark gray and brown they are for animals especially they are the ones I use almost all the time so a couple of sheets of pastel mat paper what do you, else do you need all you really need is pastel pencils I got two main brands that I use very frequently and they are Pitt P-I-T-T -T, and Carbothello they're very similar they're a harder pencil you only really need that and then you can make a start some of my patreon art lessons 
they just use pencils and a sheet of paper and I list some of the colors there as well but when you're buying pencils by far the cheapest way of doing it is to purchase them in sets and the larger the set the cheaper each pencil works out so that's the way I would generally say to uh, actually purchase that's all you need to start everything else that I've mentioned in the video you can add at a later date as I did myself so it doesn't need to be expensive to start I hope you've enjoyed it and don't forget hundreds and hundreds of hours worth of lessons on my patreon art channel I've got about one and a half thousand members on there all enjoying using their pastels and learning how to draw and apply them and if you don't want to join a patreon channel my website jasonmorgan.co.uk I've got lessons on there too. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you all again on the next video.